I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Oh, keep telling myself that All right, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is the second video of 2023. Um, welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for coming. I first of all want to just say that and um, thank you for clicking on my video. I don't know if you saw the video prior to this one, but I did like a, it was the first day of the year, taking down all the Christmas decorations, kind of getting started for my day. And I talked about how I was going to film this video. So if those of you who are new here, if you haven't heard of the V Shred program, it's actually a program you do pay for it. They, um, I think it would cost me like a hundred something and it's 90 day workout plan and a 30 day um, eating plan um, where they consider, you know, a lot of things like your age, your height, your weight, how much you want to lose, um, those types of things. And then they come up with a diet plan for you that is low carb, um, but has some carb cycling. So I have some videos, I'll go ahead and link them below where I was doing the V Shred program last year. If you wanna watch it and learn a little bit more about it or just keep watching this video because in a nutshell, I'm pretty much doing the same thing. Um, and so last year is behind us. It is now 2023. So I'm excited to get back into this program. Um, so we are going to start off with me weighing in, my first weigh in, and then I'm gonna do the workout for the day, make myself some coffee and breakfast. And then uh, throughout this video, we're gonna just you know, I'm going to take you through my first week on the program, getting back into it, working out every day. Um, I'm going to show you guys some, some recipes um, that you can eat that are low carb, that are healthy. And so that's what this video is all about. So if that sounds like something you're interested, I hope you keep watching. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, as you just saw, <clears throat> I weighed in at 162.7. Before the holidays, I was at 158.7, so I gained four pounds. So I guess not too bad. And I'm about to start my cycle. And so um, I'm a little bloated, but um, we're just jumping right back on. Holidays are over. No excuses. So I'm not sure about my toe. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and do day one because we're starting over on the workout plan um, since it's been months um, since I've worked out. So I'm just hoping, I don't know if it's upper body or lower body, but if it's lower body, I'm just going to do the best that I can. I might not be able to do all of the exercises so let's see what the hell do we do this for i push you out but you come back that attraction we can't fight that oh keep telling myself that i should let go but i hold on and oh keep telling myself that i should move on but I all right guys i'm done and not as Bad as I thought, I thought I was gonna really have a hard time because it was lower body, as you can see, with my toe. But I don't know if you guys noticed, it's probably hard because in time lapse. So I really just put all my weight on my heels, which is what you're supposed to do anyways. And so the hardest part was doing the um, the mountain climber, um, rotating mountain climbers because you have to put your weight on your foot. And I just tried so hard to not put any weight on my toe. So, um, <laughs> hopefully I don't regret it later but that felt good you know I think because I had been doing this workout program for almost two months like I got used to it and so it wasn't as hard as it was when I first started you know way back when so I had a thought while I was working out and this wasn't gonna be my plan originally my plan wasn't gonna was gonna be to just start back on the the V shred food program that they assigned to me as well but I know in the past, and you guys, if you've seen my egg fast videos, it is a quick way to drop quick weight and get yourself into ketosis faster. And so I figured let's start off with that. Let's go through the, um, I'm going to do two days for sure, today and tomorrow. And then let's see how I feel. If I think I can push another day of eating just eggs, I will. Um, and um, I'll try to do some different things from my egg fast before. So, I mean, I don't know how much more you can do with eggs, but I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to watch some other egg fast videos and try to get some other ideas. Um, 
but the cream cheese pancakes, those are some of my favorite. So I might do that for dinner. Um, oh, you know what? I probably can't because I don't have any um, sugar-free syrup. I would have to get some. Um, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But um, yeah, so let's get jump started with an egg fest uh, for the focus for the first few days. And then we'll move into the other meals. All right, guys, I want to show you guys how I make my coffee in the morning. So the first thing is I do is I stick some heavy cream and a tiny bit of milk just because the cream is so thick and I put it in my frother. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and froth it up while I make my coffee. I got these new Nespresso pods. It's chocolate flavor and so I'm gonna try this out right now. So that's what I'm brewing up. I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'm just gonna boil some eggs, turn it on the stove, and then I'm gonna head on over and finish making my coffee. So it's done brewing, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the heavy cream and some sugar-free vanilla sweetener. And that's pretty much how I drink my coffee, you guys. All right guys, so here's breakfast. So I just went ahead and hard boiled the eggs as you saw, put some salt and pepper, everything but the bagel seasoning. And with the egg fast, you can have an ounce of cheese. So I've got some pepper jack cheese, super simple. I might not eat all the eggs. I'm usually not very hungry in the morning. I am hungry because I worked out, but I'm not starving. So um, we'll see how much of these eggs I can stomach. And then for lunch, I think I'm gonna make um, egg tacos. So I'm going to use cheese to make the taco shell because we're allowed to have one ounce of cheese. And then I'm going to make scrambled eggs and put them in the middle um, with some of my homemade salsa. I'll make that. So yeah, see you guys at lunch. Today I'm going to be making some low carb egg tacos. Right now I'm just going to scramble up some eggs in the pan until it's completely cooked. I actually mix with the eggs some heavy cream. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook those up. As soon as the eggs are done, I'm gonna take some cheese and I'm actually gonna put it in the pan so that the cheese cooks and hardens so I can make a taco shell out of it. So that's what I'm doing here. And then we're gonna move into time lapse. And then this is me just cooking it real quick. And basically, you put the eggs, turn it over, spread it. Now I'm gonna do the next one and then I'm gonna to top it with some salsa. All right guys, you know, I'm not really hungry. It's about six o'clock, just finished work. I'm going to jump in the shower and I think I'm just gonna make some over easy eggs, guys. Like I'm just gonna make it simple tonight cause I'm not super hungry. Some over easy eggs with some pepper jack cheese. And then tomorrow morning, we'll start all over again. All right, here's my over easy egg with some pepper jack cheese. It actually was really good. All right, so I'm weighing in again after first day of an egg fast. Let's see where we're at. Wow, we All lost right, two morning. pounds in one so day. As you guys can see, day one down two and a half pounds, almost 2.4. So um, I'm really glad that I decided to do the egg diet for a couple days because it does just kind of help jumpstart your weight loss. So be eating just eggs again today um i actually posted the egg tacos and the salsa that i made yesterday on youtube shorts um so if you want to see a quicker version like you don't want to have to go back to this video um i'll link those in the description box you can check them out um but it's like a quicker a quicker version of of me making them so today um I gotta think through, I wanna do something creative today too to show you guys, um, because my plan is is every day to do something like new that I haven't done and do a short on it. So that way I'm constantly daily posting different low carb recipes for you guys. So yeah, let's get into this workout. I'm really sore today, but it is upper body and abs, so it's more my legs that are sore, so it'll be a nice break from the legs. So let's jump into this workout. <laughs> So there was just one more set left, but I stopped because that last set was a lot of strain on my toe and I was really afraid I was gonna re-injure it. 
So there's a lot of footwork there. So I just stopped. Um, I just want to be super careful. I know that I'm going to have to customize this 90 day plan at least for the first month. I might have to stop if I have to. Um, but then hopefully after another month, it should be fully healed. But I, I do feel a little pain in it. So I just want to be careful. So um, that's it, guys. That was tough, but I felt it in my abs. It felt good. My suggestion is to work out in the morning. It makes a huge difference. Like, I know working out at night helps too sometimes because it relaxes you. Exercising is very relaxing. You kind of wind down from your day. Um, so you could always break it up. You know, that's also an option. I might even think about considering doing that. Um, doing a little bit in the morning and then some in the evening before bed. But just getting my workout done first thing in the morning, it has made a difference in my energy and just how I feel throughout the day. Um, I just feel pumped and energized and it just feels great. And just knowing that I'm done, like after work, I don't have to think, oh man, I got to work out. I just think about, okay, let me make dinner, let me take a shower and let me just relax for the evening. And I feel like it's helping me sleep better. So anyway, it's just food for thought. Um, so, okay. So the plan was to continue the egg fast, but I'm out of eggs. So I just made a Caesar salad. And so I went to Costco to get some eggs and I just got these ribs. So that's dinner. All right. Good morning, guys. It's day three. So, um, I thought I would just jump on here while I'm putting on my makeup. I won't torch you the whole time I'm doing my makeup. It's a few minutes, just kind of update you guys on what's going on so far this week. So it is a day three. And the first two days were focused on egg fast. Um, the reason, I don't know if you noticed, but yesterday um, in my filming, I didn't film um, a lunch or dinner because basically what happened was in the morning I ran out of eggs. And so um, because I had already lost like two and a half pounds just that first day, um, I didn't eat eggs for lunch or dinner um, because I didn't have any, I had to go to Costco. But um, what I did have, I still stay low carb, so I had a Caesar salad for lunch. Um, and then for dinner, I got, um, at Costco, I got some ribs. Um, and so I just had like one like slab of ribs along with um, some more Caesar salad because I had to take some um, Magnesium and potassium. Um, hold on, guys. I gotta let my cookie okay, back. Keep scratching at the door. But um, I do want to say this because if you're just going on a low carb diet and you're older like me, so I'm um, almost 49, and so I'm going through the menopause stage, and I have noticed that I'm getting heart palpitations a lot, and it seems that whenever I restart back on a low carb diet, it really kicks up. I mean, I haven't had issues with it in the last two months until this week. And so um, just talk to your doctor. I know that I have talked to mine and I've been checked a million times for heart problems. I've had heart palpitations as far back as I can remember since I was like 18 years old and they don't see anything major. I just know that, you know, when I do low carb, it's worse just because, um, one, I struggle with drinking water. I'm really bad at that. And so um, that is my focus. I actually, my goal for this year, and I did read, just so you guys know that um, starting your day with coffee is not a good idea, especially if you're someone like me that has heart palpitations because caffeine makes it worse. But the reason why is they say that um, the first thing your body needs after fasting is actually hydration and water and caffeine dehydrate, dehydrates you. So um, they say to wait at least an hour after waking up to have your cup of coffee. So I've been doing that um, and it's been great. So I've been waking up, I got my water and the first thing I do is I hydrate myself. So I know that water is something that I have to focus on drinking for my issues. And so I had to take some magnesium and potassium last night because my heart palpitations were scary. Like I um, was afraid like it was that bad. And so um, I just thought I would warn you guys about that to talk to your doctor if you are gonna go on a low carb diet, just to make sure that you can, especially if you're an older woman and, and you have heart palpitations because it does get worse. Um, it really does because you're lacking electrolytes. So. Hopefully taking those will help. And then today, so I'm officially, you know, I, I went, okay, I don't know what I'm trying to say. 
the Be Shred Diet Plan that I was put on, it wasn't an egg fast for the first two days. I just decided to do that to kind of jumpstart the weight loss. So I'm just picking up on day three because it's technically day three and I'm gonna eat the meal plan on day three. So today's meal plan is a piece of toast with jelly on it and a banana. There, I'm gonna get my potassium that I need. Um, so today is a carb up day, um, which is great because um, on the V-Shred program, if you watched any of my other videos, um, you do carb cycling. And so, cause our bodies, especially women going through menopause, do need times where they're having carbohydrates. So today's my carb up day. So for breakfast, I'm having that. Lunch is supposed to be a chicken sandwich on a low carb bun. I don't have any low carb buns. So I might just make like, I have turkey burgers. I might make a turkey burger and wrap it in lettuce. I might eat that for lunch. And then, or I might just have another Caesar salad. It was so good. And then for dinner, it's supposed to be a stir fry with brown rice. So I will definitely be showing you guys that recipe. And that's pretty much it. So I weighed exactly the same today. So I didn't, you know, film it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good. Oh, also, I'm not working out until after work today because let me just tell you guys, I am so sore today. I forgot when you don't work out for three months <clears throat> how much it really sets you back. <clears throat> like my whole neck and my shoulders and I have a migraine. So I think having the day to kind of work through my, my muscle pain and do some stretching will help me to be able to work out this evening. So I'll be working out this evening after work before I cook, <clears throat> and then I will film my cooking. So I will show you guys what I eat for lunch. I'll just do like a, a picture snapshot, and then I'll see you for dinner. Today we're gonna be making low carb tomato basil soup, starting with one and a half tablespoons of butter, adding a little heap of garlic. Then we're gonna add some onions, and we're gonna stir it and let those get nice and soft. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add the canned tomatoes and a cup and a half of chicken broth. And then we're gonna stir that up and add some basil. I don't use fresh, I just use uh, chopped basil. And then you're gonna let that cook for about 30 minutes. Then you're gonna turn it off and add it to a blender to mix it. And then after you blend it in the blender, you're gonna pour it back in the pan Add a half a cup of heavy cream, add some garlic salt and some regular salt and stir it. And then you're gonna finish it up by adding a little bit more basil and adding some Parmesan cheese on top. And voila, there's your tomato basil soup. All right, it's day four, so I thought I would jump on here and give you guys a little recap before I start my workout. So come to find out, day three is an optional rest day and I never knew last time I was doing it because I never jumped on the day three workout because that day I always had softball. And so that was like my workout for the day. So I guess yesterday was an optional rest day anyway, so it's perfect, I did rest yesterday. So I'm back on it this morning, um, weighed myself in again, still the same. So I lost like that two and a half pounds that first day and then I've been at 165. 160.5 since Tuesday or since Wednesday. So not a big deal. Okay, done. Whew. Got my heart rate going, I'm sweating. I'm about to get in the shower. So hey, do you guys see this? I have this weird neck. Like when I looked into it, I had a friend that pointed out to me before. She said it looked like it was a thyroid issue. And I'm wondering if that's why I've been having issues with my weight. So I looked into it and they do say that a neck like this is thyroid. So, but they've checked my thyroid and they don't see anything, so. It's just strange because I have other symptoms due to hypothyroidism. Like I get heart palpitations and some other things because I was doing some research. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking if there's some other kind of test. Anyway, I think I'm about going back to the doctor and finding out what's going on with that. But yeah, done with the workout. I'm going to get ready for work now. So I will see you guys at breakfast.
Okay, so my turkey sausage is just taking too long and I'm starving. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat my eggs. Look at my cat's trying to get up all up in my eggs. He always does. Usually I don't eat them all and so I'll kind of give him the rest, but. All right, for lunch, I just had some leftover ribs and I made caprese salad. And lastly for dinner, I just made a salad and threw some chicken on it. It was pretty good. All right, good morning, everyone. It's day five. So today, oh, just so you guys know, last night for dinner, oh my gosh, I don't even remember what I had. Oh, I just had a salad with some chicken on it. It was supposed to make like creamy lemon chicken, but um, it was Friday night. Like, I don't feel like cooking anything. I had one of those left pre-made salads left, so I just took that, and then we got a rotisserie chicken at Costco, and I just threw pieces on it. That was it, so low-carb salad. Um, so today, I'm gonna try OMAD, and if you don't know what OMAD is, that's one meal a day. So the reason I'm doing that is because I'm actually taking, today was a low, it was a higher carb day anyways. <clears throat> so today I'm taking um, one of my coworkers, uh, her daughter's, um, you know, not been feeling very well, so she's been taking care of her. So I just want to get her out of the house. So I'm taking her to California Pizza Kitchen. They have these really good, um, like, bowls that have, like, quinoa, stuff like that. So I might do that, or I might just go for it and have a pizza because I'm only having one meal. Um, I heard their cauliflower pizza is pretty good. So, any hoot, um, I do follow a couple YouTubers that do OMAD, and... Um, they lose a lot of weight doing OMAD and they just eat whatever they want in that one meal. So that's kind of my purpose behind just having one meal today is because I want to be able to just kind of like not worry about what I'm eating and enjoy myself. So we'll see what I choose to eat. I might get one of those bowls and then maybe have my daughter get a pizza and I'll just maybe have one slice. So I don't know. Don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I will let you guys know. So we're going to do that. So I'm not eating breakfast. I'm not gonna work out this morning, I'm gonna work out tonight. We're gonna go do that, do our thing. I'm gonna come back and do some editing and then hit my workout, I'll film that. Um, and then I'll definitely show you guys what I ended up eating uh, for lunch, all right? So we will see you guys in a couple hours. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to do my workout. It is about 7.30 at night. I was out shopping all day. I didn't take a picture or film what I was eating for lunch because I thought about it after and I thought I don't want to make anybody struggle that's watching this that um you know was trying to like fight to you know watch what they eat and so um but I was really proud of myself um you know my daughter-in-law shared a carne asada pizza I only had so remember I just did OMAD so it was my only meal of the day so I stayed under 1200 calories because I only had two slices of pizza and I had a half a salad that I shared with her and then I had a margarita that was like this big. So that was my only thing I've eaten all day. So I feel pretty good about it and I'm gonna work out right now and I'm gonna go to bed hungry pretty much. So that's it for today. And then tomorrow is day six and Monday's day seven. So those are the uh, two rest days, uh, the last two days of the week. So I won't be working out tomorrow or Monday, but tomorrow, um, we are, so have church in the morning, um, I'm thinking about maybe doing, I may do OMAD again because my grandson's birthday party is tomorrow, it's at Chuck E. Cheese, I'm really not a fan of their pizza, so I was thinking about just getting the salad bar to be honest with you, so, um, I probably will do, I'll, I'll probably just do the regular maybe V-Shred tomorrow because for breakfast, I think on Sundays, it is a, a piece of toast, usually with jelly. So I think I might do a piece of toast with avocado um, for breakfast and then lunch. I'll probably just get the salad bar and then dinner. Uh, it's like a low carb pasta. So I'll show you guys how I make that. So we'll see you tomorrow. I'm jumping in my workout and then I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Happy birthday, dear AJ. Happy birthday. 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 Happy
<laughs> All right, guys, it is day seven, it's the end of week one. And um, I didn't come on in the morning because today, yesterday and today were rest days, so no workouts. Um, yesterday I pretty much, I was gone all day, that's why I didn't film. Um, I went to a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese, I think I mentioned that in the morning. Um, I just got their salad bar and ate like a couple wings and that was it. And then for dinner, I didn't think I was going to eat dinner to be honest with you, but <clears throat> on the menu was the spaghetti with the brown rice noodles. But um, <clears throat> I just wasn't that hungry, and so I ended up just making a wrap with a low-carb car tortilla, so I ate that for dinner last night. So I didn't film anything, but today, um, for breakfast, um, on the menu was eggs, two eggs, and a piece of cheese. So again, I didn't film that either. It's just two over-easy eggs. But for lunch, um, I'm supposed to have a salad, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, because I thought you guys would love to see this recipe, I'm gonna make, <clears throat> it's like a, <coughs> anti-pasta salad without pasta in it so it's low carb so it's like tomatoes cheese um, cucumber bell pepper red onion avocado salami so and olives so that should be I don't know if I have any olives though but um, so I'm gonna whip that up right now show you guys how we make that and then for dinner I'm gonna go ahead and make the spaghetti that I was supposed to make yesterday so I will show you guys how I make that as well all right Let's All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be making a low-carb anti-pasta. So it doesn't have pasta in it, but it's gonna be everything else. So Genoa dried salami, I'm gonna be slicing up some chunks of this, some pepper jack cheese, chunks of that, some mozzarella, some grape tomatoes, avocado, red onion, bell peppers, and cucumbers. So I'm not gonna film myself chopping everything up, so once I um, get everything chopped and ready to throw in a bowl, I'll jump back on here and show you guys how to do that. All right guys, so today we're gonna be making a low carb anti-pasta. So Genoa dried salami, I'm gonna be slicing up some chunks of this, some pepper jack cheese, chunks of that, some mozzarella, some grape tomatoes, avocado, red onion, bell peppers, and cucumbers. All right, I've chopped everything up, and as you can see here, I added pepperoni at the last minute, and so now we need to make the dressing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two tablespoons, or three tablespoons of olive oil. Next, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I'm also gonna add for seasonings, basil, salt, garlic salt, and pepper. Now I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lemon with my lemon. This is what it looks like when it's all done. It's so delicious. This could last you a week if it's just for you. You could portion it out into containers for food. Okay guys, I'm making the spaghetti. This is what it calls for. Onion, garlic, ground beef. I'm just gonna cook that. Add my own favorite seasonings like basil, Italian seasoning, garlic, salt, salt with spaghetti sauce. Then I'm cooking this brown rice quinoa spaghetti pasta. It's gluten-free. It's supposed to be better for you. It's lower in carbs. Now there are carbs in it, it's just lower than the average pasta. So yeah, this is what I make. I'll show you guys when it's all done um, for dinner. And the net carbs, I'll check that for you guys and I'll let you know at the end. Okay, this is what the spaghetti looks like. It is a total of 48 grams of carbs. So on the day that you do eat this, this is your carb up day. Um, and I would stick for, oh, stay away from carbs the rest of the day. So this could be just like your one carb meal. Since I had the pasta salad for lunch, it didn't have much carbs in it. So I should be good. So that's it guys, super easy to make. All right guys, so we are wrapping up week one. So I got on the scale this morning. So yesterday, so most of the week, every single day, I was 160.5. Like from when I lost the weight during the egg fast, I stayed 160.5 all week up to yesterday. And then today I weighed in and I was back to 162.5. So um, I know they say that like you can fluctuate day by day. So I'm going with the 160.5. I'm going with about two pounds lost in the first week just because I am on my cycle right now. So I could be just holding some water weight. Um, so I'm not too, too concerned about it. Um, we'll see as we go throughout the week. So. Um, but it could also be a fluke. It could be that two pounds that I lost just came right back because it was water. I mean, who knows? Um, so yeah, that wraps up week one. Um, 
the bottom line is, is like, I just feel good knowing that I'm making better choices, you know? I'm working out and I'm watching what I'm eating and really ultimately that's what's best for us. It helps me mentally and I know I've talked about this in my other videos um, and I'm gonna say that to all of you, like it's not about the scale, it's about how do you feel and it's about knowing that you're making better choices and, and that's really what it comes down to. So yep, that's wrapping up week one guys. Um, I'm gonna be starting the filming of week two right now. I'm gonna be doing my first day workout. So I hope you all enjoy your week. Thank you so much for coming and watching my videos. I don't know if they're boring, but I hope you guys are enjoying them. I know I love watching these types of videos because it gives me just other ideas of workouts and food that I can eat. So yeah, that's it guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for coming. Inside your bedroom.